Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, this is Doreen, and I'm here with Christine, and we're going to talk to you today about running in place, which you can do on the floor, or you can do on the reformer in your class, but I want you to start paying attention to what's going on with people's ankles, right? So when you look at someone's ankles, or whether their feet are pronated or supinated, go ahead and fall into pronation for me. You can see how Christine can fall into pronation, and what happens with her ankle? It looks like the ankle bones are heading down in between her legs. Now, go ahead and give me a supinated version. Right? So that would be somebody whose foot is tilted laterally, and then their ankle bones would be heading down to the outer part of their foot. And they'll come back into neither supinated nor pronated, and so the ankles are right over the foot. Now do me a favor, Christine, go ahead and rise up onto your toes. Okay. If you have someone who's pronated, and can you do that in your, yes, Look at what's going on here versus supinated. Go up super high and let your ankles pop way out to the sides. Right? So Yes, we see this quite often and you'll see it in running in place. But it's worth noting with your clients what they do with their ankles before we even get to a running in place. Go ahead and come back to centered right? and then slowly lower back down. Good, so if someone's got pronated feet and their ankles are falling in, chances are they're going to pop up onto the balls of their feet. Mm -hmm. And things might straighten out because now they're trying to go towards the outer part of their ankle into more of a supination. And then when they come back down, plop back down into pronation. So you see what's going on, the ankles doing all this thing, which is wreaking havoc on all the muscles that run up on either side of the leg all the way up into the hip, but we don't have time to talk about that right now. We're just going to talk about how to work with running in place on the reformer. So Christine's going to come back and step on the blocks. And this is simulating our foot bar on the reformer. So go ahead and start running in place into normal. And you can back up on the blocks a little bit, Christine, so it's easier to get your ankles to come down. And then do the normal version where we're going into pronation. So watch what's happening as she goes under the bar. You can see how the ankle is falling in towards the medial side of that foot, which is just reinforcing the pattern of what's going on with your clients. Right? If somebody's in pronation, chances are their fibularis muscles are tighter and what's going on on the inside of their leg. And again, that goes up the chain. So you want them to, and well, let's go into supination first. So go up super high. If they're going up too high and their ankles are flailing out when they're coming up on the bar and then back down, and then they're falling into some other position They might be supinating or they might be pronating as they're going up and down, might be falling in, falling out. Our poor little toes are gripping for dear life here. You want them to make the movement smaller. Go ahead and be small enough that you can see how the ankle is not flip-flopping from side to side. Work on them finding the stability and the balance of right side to left side, medial to lateral, and let the glide start to happen between the tibia and the talus in a normal way. Normal being how it was biomechanically designed, right? Because lots of times we don't pay attention to what's going on. We call this series footwork. It's part of the footwork series, but we're not paying attention to what the feet are actually doing. And what the feet are actually doing causes a lot of stuff to go up the chain. So that's your running in place. Just start paying attention to what's going on down at people's ankles. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.